In this video, we're going to derive the contract curve for a two-consumer competitive exchange economy using nothing but calculus. Consumer 1 has the following utility function over good X and good Y. Consumer 1's marginal utilities. Marginal utility of good X is Y, and the marginal utility of Y is X. Normally, we would derive these using calculus, partial derivatives of the utility function. And we're told that consumer 1 has the initial endowments. Uh, consumer 1 currently possesses three units of good X and two units of good Y. Our second consumer has the following utility function. And this consumer's marginal utilities are as follows. And this consumer's initial endowments this consumer currently has one unit of good X and six units of good Y. Uh, one thing to note that the total amount of Y available in this exchange economy is just the summation of the initial endowments, two plus six in this case. So there's eight units of Y in this economy uh, that can be split between these two consumers. And likewise, the total amount of good X available in this two-person exchange economy is four, three plus one. Okay, so uh, just one thing to keep in mind, we're gonna come back to that in a minute. Let's solve for the contract curve. In equilibrium, the marginal rate of substitution for consumer one will equal the marginal rate of substitution for consumer two. When both consumers are willing to trade away the same amount of good Y for one more unit of good X, there can be no further trades between the consumers. So all trade will stop once this condition is met. So what is the marginal rate of substitution for consumer one? It's consumer one's marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y. And similarly for consumer two, the marginal rate of substitution for consumer two is marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y. Those marginal utilities were given on the first screen, and so just substituting in those results, we get this. So on the first slide, we said that consumer one has two units of good Y to begin with, and consumer two has six units of good Y to begin with. So the total amount of units of good Y that can be traded equals eight. So on an after trade basis, the amount of good Y that consumer two will have will equal the amount of good Y that consumer one has minus eight. So just solving this equation right here for Y subscript two. And what I'm gonna do now is make a substitution into our equilibrium condition where I have Y subscript two, I'm gonna replace it with Y subscript one minus eight. And I did that right over here. And now we're going to do uh, a similar thing for this X subscript 2. From the first slide, we noted our initial endowments. So there are four units of good X in total in this economy that can be split between consumer 1 and consumer 2. So the amount of good X that consumer 2 will have after trade will be the amount that consumer 1 has minus 4. And now we're going to make that substitution into our equilibrium condition. And we have the following. Now we just want to simplify this and solve this for y, y subscript 1. So multiplying everything through by x subscript 1, and then multiplying everything through by the denominator down here, x subscript 1 minus 4, we get this result. Simplifying the left-hand side, this y subscript 1, multiplying it through what's in parentheses and doing a similar thing on the right-hand side. You'll notice these x, y terms cancel. The minus signs cancel. And then dividing through by 4, we have our contract curve. So in equilibrium here, these consumers uh, will be consuming somewhere along this contract curve. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.